Thanks for joining us here on Hit Points Gaming. Tonight we are going to be talking about Blinks. Um, with a new Kickstarter coming up, I really wanted to do a video on it because it's, it's a pretty cool thing. Um, and I say tonight, that's why we're filming in this discreet location on this really small snack table. Uh, if I film in the other room, I might wake up the monster, aka the three-year-old, and really don't want to do that, so we're in far away from his room. Uh, so what is Blinks? Blinks are these little plastic pucks um, that are games. Uh, right now we have the base set and the expansion set, or the core set and expansion set. Each set has six pucks, and each puck is its own game. And each puck can teach another puck its game. So you do start with six games in each one, uh, and that doesn't mean one puck, you use one puck to play a game. It means these six pucks here, these six pucks can teach the other five pucks their game to allow you to play them. Now, um, if you're looking to, what I'm going to try to do in this video is talk about some of the games and then at the end do a review on it. So in the, in the, uh, the description of the video, I'm going to put links to the different games so you can see the, check out the games as well as a link to the review in case you're just interested in what, what the review is on it. So how do you use the blinks? Um, so what they are is the front of it's a plastic piece and these are all magnetic too. So they really stick to where they're well and you can see I'm kind of shaking a little bit and they don't come off. Pretty neat. Um, so the front's got your game plate so you know what the game is. And on the back is a rubber piece. This rubber is actually in, in how you start the game, interact with the game, play the game. So all you'd have to do is Wham, which is a game we play a lot here uh, because I can play with my three-year-old. That's pretty neat. Wham is kind of like a whack-a-mole game. So if I, um, all these pucks are kind of on in standby mode right now because I've just been playing with them. So what you do is you just kind of hold the back of this puck. I hope you can see this. It's kind of hard to see because a lot of the game requires the light to see it. So if I hold this, this puck and it goes into this teaching mode, I pair it up with these other pucks. And I, I don't know if it's going to work too well because these are kind of in different states. But it kind of teaches this puck. I say different states because they were turned off for a while, some of them. It teaches each, this, this puck wham is going to teach this other puck how to play wham. So if I put up some more pucks here, it's going to wake them up. It's going to teach them how to play it. So that's how I'm going to play. So now if I start the game, well, I don't, oh, I'm going to hit the red. That's how you play wham. It pops up. The whack-a-mole turns red. You touch it. You have a certain amount of time to whack that mole before the puck turns off and you lose. And you can keep going, going, going. The game gets harder and harder. It's faster. Uh, and with more pucks, the harder it gets. Now that's why it's kind of neat to have more pucks because the base set or the core set, a lot of the games work just with the six pucks. Okay, so you can buy just the core set. I think they're 59 bucks. Um, you have six games and they all will work together. So you can play a game with six pucks. The expansion set, um, most of the games are six plus pucks. Uh, one of the games I think for sure is you have to have more than six pucks. You can't play with less. So it really requires you to have two of them. So if you're going to only purchase one, get the core. Um, and that's really it. They're, they're really easy to set up. Um, after they've been on for a while, you just kind of hold the button in. Uh, it'll kind of go blue and then it'll just turn off. It goes into like a standby mode and after a while it will actually turn off the same battery. Battery's really easy to replace too. Um, each one of these has a slit. Uh, you just kind of pull that slit up inside the battery, take the battery out, put a new battery in. Easy enough. Uh, let's go into some of the games. So I Wham. Uh, I have the books here because I'm not going to remember them all because I don't play them all. If you did check out our, um, our video from PAX Unplugged, you did see uh, Corey and Braden playing one of the really popular games, which is what uh, my wife and I, Becky, play all the time is Mortals. Uh, Mortals is kind of like this zombie game. Uh, and one thing that I think is kind of neat is it really is just a puck, a plastic puck with some flashing lights. It's not really too crazy. But in the book, they try to write up, you know, mortals. Let me read it. Be the final survivor of this post apocalyptic action game on a dying planet. Two teams battle for the clock. Stealing time from each other, it's the final countdown and watch out for the zombies. You know, like, it, that's kind of neat. They try to make it this, this fun thing. And it is fun. 
Uh, Mortals is cool. We play like um, best out of three because it's pretty quick. What Mortals is, is you have three and three, or you can do six and six, because we have 12 here. Um, and you're trying to move your color puck to the other side of the puck, to the other player's other team, to suck up time from their, from their zombies and vice versa. And you're just trying to be the last player to survive. So in the house, we play best of three with 12 pucks. And um, what we do is the loser is the one that has to make the decisions for dinner for the night. And that usually includes cooking for the weekend. So... It's a big, it's a big deal, uh, and, and it's pretty much 50-50. We've been doing it back and forth every weekend, so I really can't say either one of us is better than the other. Uh, I think we're pretty equally skilled. Um, another game in the base set, okay? So you got Wham, you got Mortals, you got this Berry game, which we really don't play too much. Uh, Bomb Brigade is pretty neat. Bomb Brigade is kind of like hot potato, uh, kind of basic uh, war hot potato. So you have your shield and your bomb in the center. So what you're trying to do is hit the, hit the bomb so it blows up on the shields and not on you. So what we did, um, we play if it blows up on you, you're out. Uh, if you blow it up on the shield, that's fine. And then once the shields blow up, you remove them. And now there's more of a chance for you to blow up on you. So if you don't blow up a shield, you blow up. Pretty cool. Uh, again, the game is maybe five or 10 minutes long. You can play with as many people as you want, I think, because it just keeps going and going and going. Uh, the book does recommend between one and 10 players. I don't recommend this game by yourself because it's kind of boring. Although you can kind of check your skill and how fast it's going to go because it does get faster and faster. Uh, the next game in the base set or core set is Puzzle. Uh, so Puzzle 101 is pretty neat. Uh, and this is a single player game. You can play it by yourself. You can play with more people, but I find this more fun by yourself because it's really trying to you put all the pieces together, start the game, you have to break the pieces up. And then what you're doing is you're taking those pieces that are broken up and matching the colors so that they work, so they work together. So you're actually putting this piece, this puzzle together. Um, it's really cool. You got to play with only six pucks. Uh, you can't play with 12 or seven or eight. You have to play with just six. But it's pretty neat in the fact that I have yet to play, I guess, the same puzzle. Uh, and I think that's what the book says is you never have the same puzzle again. And I don't think I have seen it because uh, every, every time I play it, I kind of have different solutions. There's different colors. You're trying to line the colors up so that all of the colors touch each other and you win. Right? And you just keep doing that over and over. Uh, and that's kind of, that's, that's it. Uh, next up is Fracture. Um, Fracture is a territory control game, they say. It's between two and six players. It's 12 plus pucks. Um, so again, that's in the core set. You can't play that by yourself then because you need 12 pucks. Um, yeah, so we have played that, and it's, it's interesting because it requires more pucks, and you're going to be moving multiple pucks around. Um, kind of think a very, 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 very slim down risk because you're trying to move your units around to kind of control and segregate more, more, more of your, your opponents. That's it for the base. So that's the six games in the core set. Um, the expansion set, which is going to be six more games, or I should say maybe widgets, uh, the best game, if you ask me, in this expansion set is Speed Racer. Speed Racer is kind of like Snake. If you played Snake on your Nokia phone, sorry kids, you don't know what that is. Um, but what you're doing is you're lining your pucks up in a row, six plus, uh, six plus blinks. You're going to really play this. They say one plus players, but it really is just by yourself. And I, what we did is my wife and I um, will do like a, a time, see how long we can last. So you start it, and as you start, you'll see this light kind of transferring down the line of blinks. You have to move the blink to the end, while the, not while the car is on it, but as the light is moving, keep moving it to the end. You're trying to get as long as you can get, and the car goes faster and faster and faster. One really cool thing of it is if you get, if you feel like you're really good, you can tap it again and send another car. So there's more difficulty to this than just having than what, what's already set in the default game. You can add more cars or, or lights to go faster. So increasing the difficulty, just pretty neat. I would love to see something like a, a way to, for you to keep your score or send your score up so you can have like a, you know, achievement list or, or a high score list. That would be pretty cool. And this is one of those games that definitely has a score in it. Uh, should have a score that you can, you can broadcast. That was really one really cool thing I would like to say. All right, so the next game up is Astro, and it recommends between two and four players. 
and they say eight plus blinks. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes, but I would really say it takes about five to 10 minutes if that. What you're doing is there are asteroids out there or pucks just randomly out in the, in the asteroid field or in the space. And each player has their own puck. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to bring your puck over to mine the ore. You're really going there to collect the color and then you're gonna to go to the next one and you're gonna to try to collect as much ore as you can or points as you can before the other players do. So it's really about being fast. Um, the hardest part of it is when you're doing it, you're gonna connect your you're gonna connect your puck and pulling it apart to connect to another one, pulling it apart to connect to another one. Not picking this up off the table is the hardest part because you're doing this and then moving it to the next one, moving it to the next one, getting each other's way. That's kind of fun. Uh, we haven't been able to play this with more than two players, so I can't say just how much fun it would be uh, because of the pandemic, so we can't really go over play with multiple people, so it's just Becky and I playing. Uh, so I can definitely see her and I already get, you know, the elbows going. So with more people, I think that'd be really cool. It's a lot of fun. Uh, Flip-flop uh, shuffleboard. So you're rolling, you're taking it, and you're kind of flipping the, the puck towards the end of the table. These do roll really nice. Um, on, at least on a nice table, like a flat table. Um, the table that we play with all the time at our house, that's a really good table to flick this across like a shuffleboard. Um, one thing I, do, I don't really like though is that it, it pulls into it. So there's no getting kind of close to the puck because it's a magnet, it's gonna, it's gonna suck right to it, stick to it. It's great for the game because that's how it works. It's only going to be able to score when they actually touch but you would kind of want like shuffleboard, you want to, you know, you're not always going to get it right on top of it. So I understand why it does what it does with the magnets, but in really shuffleboard, you're not going to have it just suck in, you know, you're not getting that auto aim assist kind of there. There's another game, Honey, which is six plus pucks. Um, this is for one player. It's kind of like you're a bee and kind of clicking. Ha, honey, I have not played it, so I don't really um, know much about it. Now, one of my things, and I'm going to talk about it in the um, in the review, is another game part of this expansion set is the widgets. Okay, so in this one, where is this one right here? This widgets. Um, this is dice, coin flip, and a spinner and a timer. Uh, so this one puck here. Um, is both a, is all a dice a flipping a coin it's a timer and a spinner so you can see different colors useful for when you're playing um, you know something that needs uh, randomness or if you're starting another game you don't have a dice or you're playing another game you don't have a die you can use this as a six-sided die another one is throwaway dice I don't like this game I didn't really like it I didn't really get it didn't really understand it too much uh, the throwaway dice is, uh, it's used doing the widgets, place your blinks together in a cluster and set them all to the dice widget, determine order, and then single click a blink to roll a die. And then what you're doing is you're trying to score points. So it's a game using dice, using your puck. Um, and then there's flip bet, which is flipping a coin. There's spinamo, which is the flowing... All right, so let's get into the review. Um, blinks. I think it's a very cool idea. I like it. Um, I like the fact that they are mobile. They come with the sushi roll, they call it. Um, so they make it really easy to carry this around. Blinks is a game system that you are going to play with other games or uh, uh, along with other games. You're not going to get together with your friends and just play Blinks all night long. I'm sorry, but you're, you're not. Uh, this is a game system. I'm gonna call it a game system because it really is like six games, 12 games. Uh, we'll get into 12 games in a second, but you're not gonna play Blinks all night long. You're gonna play this for 15 to 20 minutes and you're gonna play something else and something else, something else. Um, the games I think are rated longer than they really should be. Uh, some of the games say they're gonna be 10 to 20 minutes long, 10 to 15 minutes. I would definitely say a third of that is, is the correct time. Um, you know, playing with a three-year-old, playing a wham, the whack-a-mole game, that lasts two minutes, man. Uh, maybe five, max. Uh, then he's done, he wants to do something else. I get it that he's a three-year-old, <clears throat> but even myself, I can't sit there and just hit these red things 
for much longer than that myself anyway. Um, the, the race car, um, ra oh, goodness gracious, it's one of my favorite games too. Um, Speed Racer, we only play that for like four to five minutes. And they, they recommend longer than that or say it's longer than that. It's really 45 minutes and 45 minutes is like after we've been playing for a bunch, we know how to play the game, we're really understanding how to use it. I don't think you're gonna really play that for much longer than that, that five minutes. I think that's kind of stretching it. It's a fun five minutes, don't get me wrong, it's a really cool fun five minutes, but you're not gonna sit down here for an hour or even half an hour and play Speed Racer. You're gonna play any of these games for half an hour, 20 minutes. Uh, Mortals is another really fun game. But this game is maybe four to five minutes long, and we play three games of it. Okay, very cool. But again, five minutes is what we play at, like Friday night, and that determines who has to cook on the weekend, you know? So it's pretty neat that I can pull this out, and this is ready to go in 30 seconds, and we're playing Mortals. Okay, that's one really cool thing about Blinks. It doesn't require a board setup. It doesn't require all of this stuff doesn't require much rules. All of these games are two pages in depth in rules. And they do have a QR code that you can get more, uh, more in depth rules, but really two pages I think explains it, except for that, that dice game, I just don't, I just don't get it. Um, but I think two pages generally is good enough to explain how to play it. They give a couple pictures as well. So that's one thing that Blinks has over board games really is there's no setup, you know, this is, this is your, your token, your game, your, your board, everything. These, these, this is everything, okay? So that's one thing they've got on you. And again, it's really portable. You can play this in the car. <clears throat> you can play this on the airplane. You can really play this anywhere because look, I'm holding one and they all stick together. So that's really, it's, a, it's an awesome travel set. I mean, I'm even shaking this and it's not moving. It's a great gaming system for travel uh, because they all stick together and it's magnetic. And it's a little difficult to take them apart. So it's not, I shouldn't say a little difficult, but it, you're not gonna just randomly have the pieces fall apart. You actually have to want to take them apart to, to, to take them apart. So it makes it really portable. It's a huge advantage to this system. Widgets, but for $59, the core set's awesome. I think it's worth it. So it's $10 a game, pretty much $10 a puck. The expansion set, if you're looking to play these core games with a bigger deck, if you wanna say a bigger board, Get the expansion set then. Like Speed Racer, which is in the expansion set, it's pretty cool and with 12 pucks, it makes it really cool too because you can add more cars, you can add more difficulty, that's fun. However, to say that dice, flipping a coin is a game, I think you're stretching it, sorry. Um, so this puck here is really 10 bucks to allow you to flip a coin and have roll a die. And then they made up a couple games that you can use these features you know, in games, which is pretty neat, allowing you to, you know, you might want a six-sided die, and this gives you that. This is neat, you know, if you want to do that. But I think any board gamer is going to be able to, to find a six-sided die rather easily in their home. Um, you know, so to charge me $10 to have a flipping of the coin, um, a spinner uh, die, it's a little stretch. Another one is Zen Flow. This is just, look at the colors really a game, it's just kind of putting the colors together and they even say just relax with this game. Um, so out of the 60 bucks for this, you have $20, which I think, um, well really Zenflow is just a waste if you ask me. And the widgets is very cool, but I don't know if it's worth its own thing. And I think they, that's why they've added or tried to figure out how to make a game out of this. And it works, don't get me wrong. They've made Flipping the coin, they made the spinner all have a game, which is cool, as well as allowing you to use them as their own features, but it's kind of hard to say this is a game, quote unquote. All right, so do I recommend Blinks? Yes, absolutely. If you like to game on the go or traveling, Blinks is where it's at, uh, because this is, again, super easy to, to travel with. Um, they're not gonna fall apart while you're traveling. You can put them in the box to help protect them. Again, use the sushi roll to make it even more mobile. Um, and this allows you, because of the magnetic feature, it allows you to play the game really practically anywhere. The pieces don't come apart unless you want them to. So there are more games you can get. You don't have to get just the core set or the expansion set. Um, you can get these, either one of them, and then there are other more games you can purchase. 
Um, looking at the Kickstarter, there are more games they're coming out with. This is, again, I think this is the second Kickstarter, so they've already been successful and doing really well. And they're just looking to make more, more games for it and really expand the library. So if that's something you're interested in, or I recommend if you can, get involved in making more games because it's a really cool system. And I can't imagine it being too difficult of how to program for this and make it, you know, so you can play the game yourself. And I think it's just a couple bucks more in the Kickstarter to allow you to make your own games. And I think it's pretty neat too, is I keep trying to say this is for, you know, travel. This might be really good for kids in the car. And this might even be really fun for kids that are kind of exploring that STEM, you know, with everyone really being home now, doing school from home and staying home. This might be a fun adventure for your kids to learn and try to pick up, hey, I'm gonna make my own game, you know, and here you go, here, you, you take it, you take it and play it while you're going to work, dad or mom or, you know, grandma. It might be kind of fun. I think it's really hard right now to have your kids learning because learning from home is really difficult, if you ask me, for having to, you know, like, I, I don't want, I want to play Fortnite. I don't want to do my schoolwork. So finding a fun way for your kids to, to learn and be, in, in, uh, you know, to educate themselves, this could be really fun. So I, I like Blinks. I think it's fun. I think it's really cool. I think it's got to grow a little bit. <coughs> but um, hopefully the Kickstarter does really well so that they can grow more because they've got an awesome foundation. It's just I need more games. Um, I need more, more real games as opposed to this Zen flow and the dice. But I wish them luck and hopefully uh, it does really well in the Kickstarter. So check out the Kickstarter below in the, in the, uh, in the description as well as uh, in the comments, if you, if you like this, leave a comment. If you picked this up in the prior Kickstarter, let us know because I'm interested to know how everyone else feels about this and how many actually people actually have it that watch the videos here. So anyway, thanks again for watching Hit Points Gaming and see you next time.